everyone, my name is Ariel, and welcome back to my channel. I'm currently in El Sheltan, Argentina, and I'm actually currently on the side of a cliff. <laughs> uh, if you've been following along the last couple of vlogs, you know I've been here for a few weeks. The main intention was I was teaching a yoga and hiking retreat, um, which you can catch all of the adventures of in last week's vlog. So fun, we went, obviously did yoga and hiking, but also like kayaking and a via ferrata on a glacier. And it was just like such an action packed week. Uh, but now Sam and I are here on our own for the last couple of days. We only have like three full days here to adventure. So we're really trying to soak up <laughs> the last little bit because we are loving our time here. So our plan for the next few days is mostly rock climbing. There's a good amount of sport climbing here in Shelton, so we brought our stuff from home, and then hopefully we can squeeze in one more good hike before we go. So yeah, I'm excited to take you along for the adventures. Time to climb. We're just getting back to our place and it's like maybe 5 30 6 p.m uh we ended up climbing like seven routes today which was super fun but they were a little bit like shorter and a little bit on the easier side so nothing too crazy but super fun experience it's like so convenient right from town and uh, yeah we could just like really easily walk there <laughs> it took like 10 minutes tomorrow we're gonna explore another area which you can actually see from my patio all right let me turn it I'm gonna go over to this wall and there's some more options for harder stuff there tomorrow so we might try a little bit harder um but yeah this is a the patio at our place we uh treated ourselves a little bit here which i don't normally do because i usually travel very much on the cheap but um i thought because i'm going to be basically living out of a tent for the next six months <laughs> that i would give myself like a little treat here in argentina and the exchange rate is really good for us right now but yes yeah, so we have this amazing view and there are these really cute like little lofts here let me give you a tour of the inside okay so we do still kind of have our stuff everywhere anyways but when you first walk in on this kind of middle level there is a little kitchenette um so like we have a little burner a little fridge and everything like that and if you go just down the stairs that was the deck that i was talking to you guys on and it's sam drinking a little post climbing beer mm. so it's this really cute little living room area with just this amazing view of town, which is really cool. And then on the middle level with the little kitchenette, there's also this just small um, bathroom area. Hello. Uh, but it's really nice, super nice shower, like a rain shower. And then up these stairs, you have the bedroom area, which again has the, the big windows and then some like um, shelves and stuff to put all your things. But yeah, this is, a pretty freaking amazing view to wake up to. I feel, um, yeah, <laughs> very happy about it. I feel like this place is really cool. So we really just have a very chill evening planned here. Um, a lot of you guys know this already, but I am actually in grad school right now getting a master's in holistic nutrition and I'm doing this other like health coaching certification thing. So I haven't been able to do any <laughs> schoolwork the last week when I was on my group trip, which was really wonderful. But with the PCT and getting ready for that, I have so much that I need to get done to be able to take that, like those five or six months off. So while we're doing climbing, we're also doing like, you know, some half days of work and getting stuff done. But that's one of the reasons we also were like, um, like splurged a little bit on a slightly nicer place is so that we could have really good reliable Wi-Fi and just like a nice space to get stuff done. Um, so yeah, that's really all we have planned for the rest of the evening. But tomorrow we have another full day of climbing. So I'm gonna see you in the morning.
probably see it's a pretty gray day here today and it's actually like maybe 1 30 almost 2 in the afternoon sam and i have just been <laughs> i've been doing school work all morning he's been getting um some of his work projects done and yeah we were kind of hoping that maybe the sun would come out and we could just do like a really nice afternoon climb sesh in the sun because this wall gets afternoon sun but i think it's just gonna be gray <laughs> which is fine we, we will make the most of it it's gonna be awesome to be here regardless um, but now we're at this other wall on the other side of town we're having a little lunch first there's actually a shop in town that makes gluten-free sandwiches and snacks and things it's called simple so if you ever come to el shelton and you are gluten-free actually like all of argentina i've experienced being gluten-free to be very very easy but there's also like a ton of regular sandwich places as well um they make it really easy to make like sack lunches or like adventure lunches i think because that's really what people come here for so there's tons of places you can get like a sack lunch made so that you can like bring it up on your big hikes or your big climbs or anything like that so anyways we're gonna eat this lunch and then um yeah hopefully it won't be too cold on the wall either way we're hanging out by the river and um we're in argentina so it's still awesome Roll with me, take you for a ride, just come and see Take a look inside, yeah, it's all you need It's gonna be the vibe, cruising through the sky, yeah, we feeling alright Take a leap, throw a little smile, jumping in the seat We gon' be here for a while, yeah, it's all you need It's gonna be the vibe, cruising through the sky when I take you for a ride Roll with me now, come hang around Let's play pretend, go have a night on the town Lighten up, put on a smile We live it up, just let me know if you're down, down hey, I'm jumping in, I drop the pin, I'm on the way Might not get there right on time, I'm never late no. At the party, I just came to show my face Now it's time to hit the road and get away hey, Go with me, take you for a ride Just come and see, take a look inside, yeah so as you can see, the sun came out and it has been beautiful and Sam and I have discovered what we think is maybe our favorite sweet treat ever. This thing that I showed you earlier that was like a mystery chocolate tart. It's like s'mores on crack with like dulce de leche and caramel in the middle. It's probably the best thing ever. We're gonna take like five home. <laughs> I feel like this is what I want to get everyone at home for like a, a, a present. But like I thought it was just gonna be like a chocolate tart. It, basically it was a dessert that had the gluten-free emblem so I went for it and it's literally filled with dolce de leche and it is amazing. It's like 6 30 in the morning so it's early but it's not like quite as early as it feels sam and i are headed out on a sunrise mission to do um this hike that will have a really cool view hopefully the stars are out so we're hoping it will look really good but we didn't get much sleep <laughs> in the middle of the night last night uh the power went out which like triggered this system to like turn on this floodlight <laughs> in our place <laughs> and we couldn't figure out how to turn it off and then we did but then when it turned back like all the power turned back on there's like all this beeping and whatever so anyways we're running on like five hours of sleep but uh it's our last day so we're doing it anyways uh it's pretty dark here and we're about to hit the end of the street lights so i probably won't show you much until uh, there's more light but uh we'll see you soon this has been a magical morning already. I can't get over how beautiful the sunrise has been. And um, yeah, there's no one here at this lookout. There's all these little benches. So it leads me to believe that this is a very popular place. You can see all the little like benches that people hang out at normally. But I don't think that many people do sunrise. But they should, this was so magical. I feel so alive. <laughs> I'm not very good at getting out of bed, but once I get moving like this early in the morning, I feel really good. And this sunrise was absolutely beautiful. We have a good little breakfast here. Um, last night, Sam and I ordered what we thought was a salad. It's called a rustic salad. And it said that it had like 
like cheese and corn and things, but we also assumed that maybe it would also have like green vegetables, but it literally didn't. It was like bread, cheese, chicken, corn, and sweet potatoes and nothing else. So we kept like the cheese and the chicken to have as breakfast on our hike today. And it's actually ended up being kind of perfect. So the plan is just to hang here a little bit longer and enjoy the colors. Um, but I'm pretty cold, so eventually we gotta start moving and we'll just follow this trail. It continues on. Um, right now we're at the Saratory Sarah Lookout. Um, Saratory is going like in and out of the clouds, so we haven't had like a clear view of it, but it's still beautiful. The clouds actually kind of make it this morning. And we'll continue on to Laguna Torre, uh, which is like a cool lake with a big glacier and apparently there's like icebergs and stuff on it. So um, yeah, it's already been such an amazing day and it's just begun. and we're just getting to the lake and we are literally the only ones here so pro tip <laughs> if you ever come to the area um, do your hikes early-ish in the morning because there's nobody around <laughs> This is definitely a super busy hike and it is a totally different trail walking back. Like we are passing people every couple of minutes and like probably over a hundred people. I don't know if any of you guys have the same experience, but I do struggle with social anxiety and I get so nervous. <laughs> like when we're coming up to a big group, like what am I gonna say? Am I gonna say anything? Is my face doing something weird? And then we pass them and I just say like, hola. <laughs> weeks in Argentina and man looking back I just feel like we were able to cram so many activities into such a short amount of time which was exactly what we wanted just to like see and do as much as we possibly could in the time that we were there and I honestly feel like the timing of this trip couldn't have been more perfect in a lot of ways I am a little bit stressed about what I have to get done in such a short amount of time to get out on the trail and like you know start my through PCT through hike but at the same time, I feel like there was some things that I was able to do 
in my time in Argentina that I wouldn't have been able to do here. Like really testing out a lot of the gear I'm planning on bringing. Like I brought my backpack, all the clothes I'm going to wear, my shoes, and just seeing like doing 15, 16, 17 mile days and seeing what that felt like in my gear, seeing how everything performed and being reminded of some things that you kind of forget when you're not out on the trail for eight hours in one day. For me, that was really related to food. I'm getting masters in holistic nutrition. So I'm really passionate about nourishing myself and eating well. So I've planned a lot of like healthier snacks in my resupply boxes, which is good. And I still wanna include some of those, but being out there, I was reminded of the fact that as much as raw sprouted cashews sound good when you're at home or when you've just done a normal workout for the day, on an eight hour day, you want something a little saltier, a little bit more like roasted with chocolate or gummy. And so it was just a good reminder to one, of course, make sure I'm nourishing myself well, but also make sure that there are things in my resupply box that I'm going to want to eat. So like I said, I feel like the timing was perfect and it was able, I was able to work out some kinks there for the PCT through hike that I don't think I would have been able to do at home. So, so grateful for it. And the next three weeks, Yes, guys, three weeks, that is it. The next three weeks are crunch time for me. I have a lot of schoolwork to do to get myself ready and obviously still have to finish building my boxes and tying up my last little pieces of gear. But other than that, I'm feeling really excited and really ready. So yeah, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And as always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does support my channel and uh, I'll see you soon.